Two in one blow, and without any significant injuries either. I think he crushed my trachea. <laughs> All right, Pigeon. Hand over the shiny thing and nobody has to get hurt. Hey, careful where you drop that thing. It's an engagement ring. Sam, this is all so sudden. I... I don't know what to say. Quiet, Bonehead. Hmm, I've got a feeling Skunk Ape picked it up while he was out looking for toys. Ah, oh, there's an engraving. Hard luck. Classy. Nah. It's a torn receipt for something. Skunk Ape must have dropped it when he came through here. A clue! Which store? Can't tell from half a receipt, little buddy. This looks like a job for the Crime Tron. I detected a spike in antimatter radiation, so I locked onto the signal from your homing beacon and reversed the polarity of the dimensional stabilization field to intercept- Yeah, yeah. Just tell us how we can get back at Skunk Ape for crimes against the freelance police and humanity. So you're suggesting we trap Skunk Ape in our own building? Well, kind of. You'd actually be turning your building into an alternate dimension, so it won't really exist anymore. Thanks for getting rid of those gorillas, Sam and Max. What does that dimensional destabilizer do exactly? It opens a temporary gateway between one dimension and the next, which can pull someone from the spirit world into the real world. Or from the real world to an interdimensional prison? I suppose so. Do you think that's what Skunkape was trying to keep people from finding? I don't know. My money's still on the big screen thing. That's just cool. Well, it's worth a try. I built a remote control so you can open the gateway anywhere. It'll only stay open a few minutes, so you've got to make sure you do it right. Anybody holding something tuned to the alternate dimension will get sucked right in. Max is confused about how that dimensional destabilizer works. You just have to find Skunkape and open up the gateway. If he's holding anything tuned to that dimension, he'll get sucked right in. The remote control for it is right over there. What were General Skunk Ape's minions doing in here? They came in and took over the place, right after I told him about my dimensional destabilizer. Well, that was uncalled for. Yeah, I mean, sure, she's really boring about it, but that's no excuse for violence. I'm pretty sure he was trying to keep anybody from using my inventions against him. Did Skunk Ape give you any idea what he's got planned? Nope. He just told his guards to make sure nobody found out about my inventions. See you on the other side, Dr. Mama Bosco.
and that was Patty Me Up the Dingle Down by Captain Cod and the Krusty Salts. Stay tuned for more shanties and breaking news. Not even the freelance police can put me in a bad mood today. Do your worst. Oh, you thing! <laughs> it is pretty cool, isn't it? But don't touch! And no animals on the counter! Isn't that brooch a little fancy pants for you, Grandpa Stinky? Taint a brooch, you cretin! It's a badge of honor! General Skunkapi was so grateful for my donation that he made me his second in command! That badge looks dangerous, Grandpa Stinky. You'd better let us have it. Let you have it? This badge gives me command over General Skunkapi's entire Fifth Legion and Outer Dominions! I'm not gonna give it to the likes of you. Where are his Outer Dominions exactly? I don't know. He told me to command them from inside the diner. I think it stretches from Alpha Centauri to the Andromeda Galaxy. And Brooklyn, of course. Can't we just borrow your badge? Ha! Even if you weren't a couple of shiftless ape traitors, my captain ordered me never to take it off. And to keep at least 50 feet away from him at all times for some reason. Skunk Ape's a total dillweed, Grandpa Stinky. We're placing him under arrest. Well, we're getting around to it. Eventually. Traitors! I knew it! Just wait until the General hears about this! You know where he is? Well, no. And I'm not supposed to go near him. But you two are in for a world of hurt once he gets my memo. General Skunk Ape's got you brainwashed, Grandpa Stinky. Yeah, and he hung you out to dry to avoid further shrinkage. Ha! You gentle, free-loving, hippie peacenik types just can't appreciate a real leader who's not afraid to use his weapons. He really doesn't know us at all, does he? This is your last warning, Grandpa Stinky. We're taking down the whole skunk ape army. Don't forget who you're talking to, traitors. As long as I wear this badge, my loyalty is with the General. Okay, this is your last warning, for real. We're taking down the whole Skunk Ape army. Don't forget who you're talking to, traitors. As long as I wear this badge, my loyalty is with the General. How's life as a multimillionaire, Grandpa Stinky? So, you're starting to regret handing over that ticket, are you? I almost feel bad taking it from you, but consider it a life lesson. You're gonna be a lot more clever to outsmart an old salt like Stinky. What are you gonna do with all the money? Oh, I already gave it away. You what? To General Skunkapi. Haven't you heard him talk about the big plans he has for the planet? Inspiring. And since he made me his second in command, I never have to worry about money again. You just gave away hundreds of millions of dollars to an alien gorilla? You make it sound like I didn't get anything in return. I got this badge and command of an entire alien fleet. That is pretty cool, Sam. Well, yeah, especially if you threw in the badge. All hail Skunk Ape. Peace through destruction. Hey, Brain, can you open this door for us? You want to go into the mole processing room? But it's a horrible place! Official business. Besides, it's for mole people only. Perfect! We're part mole man! Odd, you don't look molish. By marriage. There were rituals! Very well, I will try. Welcome. Uh, 
Congratulations! Prepare yourself for a fabulous off-world vacation courtesy of General Skankabe. I'm very excited! Why aren't there any doors? You'll feel a slight tingle as we take your personal items for safekeeping. Slight tingle? Whoa, hey now! vacation. I want to keep doing this. Error. Cannot remove inventory. Where do you keep your personal items? It's none of your damn business, computer. Very well. Beginning mole man processing. Sam, why is the floor so slippery? For the comfort of guests waiting outside, please refrain from screaming or crying out. Do you smell something burning? Sam, why haven't we ever seen any mole people come out of here? Enjoy the rest of your experience, and remember that your sacrifice is for the glory of General Skankabe. Sacrifice? Are we going to die, Sam? Depends on whether we can think of a way out of this death trap, little buddy. Teleportation. Future vision. Future vision. Jeez, Grandpa Stinky. We just thought you could stand to get out of the diner once in a while. You're welcome. Wee-hee-hee! -hee! best meet this quick, traitors. We've had a sudden change of heart. We think Skunk Ape is awesome. Where do we sign up to join the Skunk Ape Army? You two? In the Skunk Ape Army? Don't make me laugh! We're really good at not making people laugh. Why can't we be in the Skunk Ape Army? For starters, have you ever actually hit anything with a gun of yours, Fido? Now that's just not nice. And as for Harvey here, he'll be a fine soldier until we run into a You must be this tall to invade this planet sign. Uh-oh, you made him angry. I'd better get out of here before things get violent. Your hands off me! Oh, what have you done? Welcome back. Thank you for bringing friends along to celebrate the benevolence of General Skankabe. You'll feel a slight tingle as we take your personal items for safekeeping. No one's taken my personal gold and griddles! For the comfort of guests waiting outside, please refrain from screaming or crying out. Abort! For the love of Skunkape, abort! Voice print verified. Skunkape Army Sous Chef, 8th Class. Processing aborted. Sous Chef? 8th Class? After all I've done for that ungrateful monkey, he can keep his bloody hands on my button pad.